All right, so Bruce, first and foremost, you know, just when you look at Michigan, you know, you keep on hearing a lot of uh, talk out there about how you know, Jim Harbaugh can't win, you know, can't win the big game. He's always third or fourth place in his division. What do you see out of this Michigan team going into 2018? And, and how true is that stigma that's kind of followed them around? Well, I think you see a great defense. I mean, that's a good starting point. We'll see what you get out of the quarterback play. I mean, we did them against Purdue on the road. That was obviously the game that Wilton Spade got hurt at. Their offensive line was not where we come to expect a Jim Harbaugh and Michigan offensive line to be. The positives are you have two really good running backs. You have a receiving core that now isn't really young because obviously you had to replace everybody going into last year. The stuff I'm curious about is, you know, if Shea Patterson's the guy, we know he has a, a great release and he's got a really strong arm and he's a pretty dynamic athlete. How will he fit in with what Jim Harbaugh wants? Will he end up being the guy? Uh, as far as the big game thing, uh, you know, that's what happens when you don't beat your arch rival. And, but it's no shame to lose to Urban Meyer. I mean, his team has been kind of a gold standard in the Big Ten. I think the part that hurts is Michigan State had a bounce back year. We did like three of their games last year, and they're young still. So he's got to beat one of those teams. I mean, it's not like he's on the hot seat, but I think given all the hype and expectations, I think it's not unrealistic to people to go, okay, you know, it's year four. Uh, they should be a little further along than I think we expected, but this could be that year. I mean, I don't think there's any reason for people to get off the bandwagon if you're a Michigan fan. Now you, you mentioned like quarterbacks and even like that Purdue game, kind of playing a little bit of hindsight, looking back, considering that they, you know, they won the first four games and then down the stretch, not not as many, but they're yeah. playing a second or third string quarterback depending on where you want them to play, Brandon Peters or John O'Corn. How how much of his a detriment, that a detriment to a team like Michigan to have to go that deep in the bench at the quarterback position? I, I think it's a concern when, you know, it's maybe different if you still have Jake Butt and your two big receivers didn't go on to the NFL. So I think that's a lot of security blanket, especially the offensive line. I don't say it was patchwork, but I think when you have all those things combined and then, you know, Wilton Spade, who's a tough guy and, and you know, had experience when he goes down, it's like all of a sudden now you're picking up the pieces and you're doing it against a pretty tough schedule. So I think. It's not like they're doing it and they're a team that's in the uh, the AAC. I mean, so I think it's relative. I don't think it's shocking, but it was probably, you know, they came close to beating Ohio State. It's not like they were embarrassed by teams. It's just, I think the margin for error just wasn't as, as, as great. And you had a really good defense despite losing a lot of guys last year. And I think, I think that's still going to be the case. It's just they need to break through and... I think there's probably got to be a frustration for a lot of people there. Speaking of the defense, you know, when you look at all these, you know, preseason rankings and everything like that, preseason watch lists more so and everything, a lot of eyes are more so on Ohio State defensive end Joey Bosa, or sorry, Nick Bosa. Nick Bosa yeah. But then you look at Michigan, they have both Chase Winovich and Rashawn Gary, who both have had, you know, had relatively similar statistical years last, last season. What, what do you like about those guys from Michigan? The production. I mean, those guys make a ton of plays. Obviously, Rashawn Gary came in with a ton of hype, but he's lived up to it, and you see it. You know, Devin Bush was a really special player, I thought. You know, lost a lot of guys in the secondary. New batch of guys stepped up. Hudson's a playmaker. I mean, I think it's hard to, fall, it's hard to say that there's a better defensive coordinator out there than Don Brown. So all those pieces come together, and a lot of those guys are back. I mean, that's a great part to be optimistic about. And I, I agree with you. I mean, people know Bosa, I think, but you could easily make the case for Rashawn Gary. I mean, th th this is such a ridiculously deep group of D linemen in this like junior class, and that's going to be a big storyline in college football. It's, it's those guys, it's Ed Oliver, it's the guys at Clemson, you know, it's it, guys at Mississippi State are really good. Um, it's, it's crazy how many good D linemen are there. Now, last question, somewhat hypothetical. Michigan, fill in the blank there, Michigan wins the Big Ten and goes to the college football playoff if blank. If Shea Patterson plays like a five-star guy. I mean, that's a big if, you know. Um, I, I think what's what's interesting to me here is Dwayne Haskins, another five-star guy, another guy with a terrific arm. I think there's probably a little more benefit of the doubt for him. I don't think their defense is better than the Michigan defense. What I do think is 
the running backs, I feel like as good as Michigan guys are, I think maybe Dobbins and Weber are, are, a, are a bit better. I think the receiving core is more experienced. Um, but I, again, I think that if Shea Patterson is as good as, as people thought he was coming out of high school, and he's definitely talented, Jim Harbaugh can take him to the next level. Pep Hamilton can get him to, to, to push even past that. Who knows? I mean, I don't think there's a big gap between what they have, given how loaded that defense is. They should be able to play with anybody. Awesome. Thank you very much, Bruce. Sure. Happy to help.